Hello everybody, this is Hammer Striker here. I've got a new flashlight that Hammer recently acquired. It's a Surefire E2D. This is the Defender Ultra. This, these Surefire flashlights, they're made in the United States. This particular model has an aluminum body and it's Type 3 hard anodized. Now they call it mil-spec. I'm not aware of there being a mil-spec military specification for flashlights, but it would be on an AR type platform that mil-spec for the anodization would come into Play, so I think that's what they're actually referring to. This is got the the defender aspect of it is this crenellated top and bottom, and because it's aluminum is kind of strong, that would not be pleasant to be hit with if that were the case. It's got a steel clip to it's typical double clip, so you can clip this either way depending on how whether you want it face up or face down. It has a tail cap button, and the way this particular one works is it's got two settings. It's got a thousand lumen, which is quite bright, and we've got the test video that we'll put in here. And then if I turn it off and turn it on within two seconds, it's got five lumen, which is actually quite weak, but really enough for navigation lighting. So if you're trying to light up your path or you want to use it to light up a room overnight, let's say. So this flashlight, we're out in our usual testing location for flashlights. This flashlight's a two intensity, a low and a high, and the low is very low. If I start with high, it lights up quite well. You can see well at the distance away. It's really bright. It has a wide field of view. Now if I go to low by turning it off and turning it on within two seconds, it's not enough light for the camera to pick up. If I bring it in a little bit closer, kind of come down towards the, the ground, you'll see it's a good navigation light. So this would be a light you'd use to retain your night vision and move about, but if you really need to light the area up, you would go to high. Of course, this also will last significantly longer on this setting. It unfortunately and fortunately kind of together uses CR123 lithium batteries. Commonly used to be used in cameras. It uses two of them and it does come with two of them so if you pick one of these up it'll be ready out of the box. The disadvantage to that is they're kind of expensive and they're getting a little harder to find. You can still get on Amazon and stuff like that but photography has now evolved to using rechargeable lithium packs as opposed to these batteries so they're not in every drugstore like they used to be. So if you decide to get a flashlight that uses that style battery, you'd want to get a couple extras. The positive side of that is they have a lot higher energy density than double A's or triple A's. So you can get a lot of energy stored in a much smaller footprint. So you can get 63 hours out of this when it's on the low setting and two and three quarters hours out of it on the high setting. And unlike rechargeables, if the batteries run low, you just swap them out and you're back in business. When we tested this, we showed the test footage outside. On high, it has a nice beam, nice wide beam, and it's got kind of a center cone. And that's the TIR lens. Now, at the moment, it's off. But as I bring it around, it's picking up the studio lighting, and it's highlighting the LED module. And you can see that yellow is pretty much a complete circle. That's the TAR, total internal reflection. Basically, every bit of light that comes out of this light source gets collected and shot out the front. So you've got very, very little waste. And unlike reflectors that tend to bounce light around and some of it gets lost or goes off in side directions, this lens will focus all the light and make sure that you get it all heading in the direction you want it to. These lenses tend to be a little more expensive than your classic reflectors, but they do end up getting more effect out of the same amount of LED light and getting a beam that's very tight and controlled. Unlike some, you can't, you can't focus it, and that's typical of TIR lenses. Some of them you can focus by bringing it in and out, and it'll change the beam a little bit, but not this one. It does have a feature, however, if I turn it a little bit like that, it disables it, and that would allow you to ensure that if it doesn't get bumped and turned on, because even LEDs will still get hot. But if I turn it all the way down, then it'll work. And it's kind of stiff, so it's not going to turn itself. Now this does have O-ring for weatherproofing. It doesn't claim to be waterproof, which is why you didn't see us fish it out of our very scientific waterproof testing facility, otherwise known as the swimming pool. I didn't do that because it doesn't claim to be waterproof, but it does claim to be weatherproof. So if you're using this outside and it gets rained on, the water's not getting it in it, but it doesn't claim to have protection against immersion. You drop it in water, it may get water may get into it. Being all aluminum, it wouldn't hurt the frame much, 
but of course it could damage the electronics. This flashlight is 5.6 inches long and it's 1.125 diameter at the basal. Here's the manufacturer stamp on it, Surefire. This is made in the United States and it weighs 4.2 ounces with the batteries in it. So it's not super heavy, it's not the lightest flashlight in the world, but being aluminum and kind of not having any extra stuff on it, it's light enough that you could carry this as an EDC flashlight and not notice it, have it kind of disappear. But it's also solid enough that when you're holding onto it, you don't feel like it's going to be flimsy or if you bump it against something it's going to break or you're going to crack it, squish it. it this is designed to hold up well. This is a good flashlight for the price. The Surefires are actually quite good flashlights and being made in the United States is definitely a benefit as opposed to some of the less expensive and easily obtained but not very durable alternatives that are out there. Beyond that, if you like our videos, please give us a thumbs up, share, subscribe, click that bell to be notified if you do. Check us out on Facebook, Patreon, Instagram, Twitter, Getter, we're kind of everywhere. And thank you.